Ian from RTO here. Welcome to another classic album review and we have got a real good one for you today. We are looking at Who's Next by the Fantastic Who. Who's Next was the fifth album released in 1971. Now this one was actually developed from an aborted Lifehouse project uh, which is a multimedia rock opera, opera that was conceived by Pete Townsend as a follow up to Tommy. The project was cancelled owing to its complex complexity and conflicts with Kit Lambert, the band's manager. But what the band did, they salvaged some of the songs which ended up on here. Eight of the nine songs on Who's Next is actually from Lifehouse. So this is the rock up brother never was. Um, so on here, of course, we've got Roger Daltrey on vocals. Pete Townsend plays guitars, organ, synthesizer, and piano, piano on Barbara O'Reilly. Mr. John Entwistle on brass, bass, vocals, and piano in My Wife. Keith Moon, as ever, on the drums and percussion. We've got some additional music, musicians on this one. We've got Dave Arbus on the violin, on Barbara O'Reilly. The ever popular Nicky Hopkins that turns up on most people's albums between in the 60s and 70s. We've got Al Cooper on Hammond organ. Leslie West. Produced by The Who and Glyn Johns and mastering by Doug Sachs. So, first track on here is the classic Papa O'Reilly. It's probably got one of the most iconic intros to any song. It's just so recognisable, isn't it? Um, great vocal from Roger on this. And you get Pete doing the bridge vocals. I think. Keith Noon's drumming on this is fantastic. Just a classic track, isn't it? You, there's not much more you can say about that. that it's just absolutely amazing. Let me get Bargain. Bander on fire on this. Whoa. Keith Moon's drumming. He's all over the place with this. It's like watching Keith Moon drum was like an octopus with drumsticks. Great vocal from uh, Roger on this, and I love John's thumping bass line on this. This is a great track. Love Ain't From Keeping, it's got a real feel, bluesy feel to this one. Do like the bass line again from John M. Whistle. Fantastic bass player was John. And I think it drives the song along. Then we get My Wife. This is a song by John M. Whistle. And I think this is probably one of the best ones he did because some of his are a little bit weird and wonderful but I think this is one of the better songs he did and I really like that song. Great vocal and a nice little rock track. The song is over. This is one Pete sings on. He does all the verses and Roger does all the choruses. I like this song. I think they always sound great together and I do like Nicky Hopkins' piano on this. He was... An unsung hero on, you know, any bands in the 60s and 70s wanted a piano player. Out pops Nicky Hopkins, one of the finest in the, at the time. Excellent track. Getting in tune. What really makes this is Nicky Hopkins. His piano on this is lovely. Love that track. Great uh, vocal from Roger on that one. Going Mobile. Another of them little rock tracks that starts with a lovely acoustic guitar then we get more driving bass from John S. Whist John Ten Whistle then throw in the mix with some great drumming from Keith and you've got a great rock song 
behind blue eyes this is very acoustic and pastiche but then goes into a great rock track at the end great guitar work from Pete on this the terrific the solo is terrific I can get more sublime uh, drumming from Keith then the last track this is my favorite um, who's song ever won't get fooled again I think this is Keith's best drumming with Boo without a doubt well, I think it is um, the keyboard start so boom 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 great vocal from Roger on this it's a classic song um, the great riffs and Pete on this just makes it what it is brilliant the album did really well when it came out uh, a lot of people say it's the best um, who album I'm not going to say too much on that because at some stage I will be ranking the Who, who, the who albums so I don't want to say anything but it got to number one over in the UK number four in the USA and it went platinum here yeah, 300,000 and three times platinum in the United States so it did alright it is a solid album. There's, I like every track on here. Without a doubt, solid classics. So I shall give this an RTO ranking of 9.5. So uh, you can make your decision where you think this would come in my album ranking. Um, that's all for today. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow, and tomorrow we have got a request by about three or four of you from the live stream. We're looking at the very short career of the Stone Roses. And as this week is Jubilee Week, our retro ranking tomorrow is going to be the Peter Panner Pop himself. Mr. Harry Webb, well known to most of us as Cliff Richard, because this guy has had hit singles or made singles or recording or doing something in all the decades of the Queen's reign, which is amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. So we're gonna I'm gonna do a top twenty because I couldn't do just a top ten because there's so many great songs from Cliff over the years. So that's all tomorrow. Have a great day, everyone, or great evening whenever you're watching this. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye for now.